Compact development as a best local land use practice allows us to do three things. First of all, focusing new development where there's existing infrastructure greatly reduces the cost of development. Second, it helps us to create great neighborhoods and mixed use districts that people want to live in and that enhance the value and the character of our community. Third, it allows us to focus development where it belongs, where infrastructure exists, and avoid the need to spread development out into outlying areas where there's less infrastructure, the costs are higher, and the resources are there to be protected. Typically, with a development like this, it's, it's, it, you have to work closely with the city um, and, and work closely with the planners early on. Other elected officials should be interested in doing the kind of thing we're doing in Shaker Heights for two primary reasons. One is that it makes the communities more attractive to residents and to potential residents. Secondly, as you build new properties using your existing land, you are adding to the tax value of those properties and the communities are realizing more revenue. In new construction, you're going to find you're going to spend anywhere from 25 to 30 percent acquiring the land and putting in the infrastructure. In a development like this, you'll see the numbers are anywhere from 10 to 15 percent. As those areas become more attractive places to live uh, and bring people in and generate more jobs, they also create more revenue for the entire region and positively impact people in the outlying areas.